tell you something Oh my god, we've reached a thousand subscribers, Yay! mind blown. Hey guys, it's me Annie and today I'm going to be showing you some back to school study tips and because I know some people in America are actually going back to school, it's back to school season. In Australia for me actually, we kind of already started school for like four weeks already and yeah, that's quite depressing. Anyways, I really hope that this video helped you get good results when you go back to school and you just wow everyone with your study skills. You can share it with a friend and yeah! So the first tip I have is just to make a really comfy place for you to study in. I just got some blankets, a pillow and put that on my couch. Then brought my favourite soft toys and laid them out on the couch. And I think just having a comfy place in first is a really great way to start studying because it just makes you feel comfortable and doesn't make you feel as stressed as if you were sitting on a table or like really uncomfortable. And yeah, have some food. So the next tip I have for you guys is just to get some snacks and fruit and I just washed up some strawberries and cut them up to bite size and I think um Fruits are a really great substitute if you're on a sugar craving or you just want some food basically and they're also a very health healthy substitute. I think having food to eat while you study is quite important because first of all who doesn't love food and second it makes your brain think that well you're in a comfy place and you have food to eat so it wouldn't seem that stressful to study. So for the next one I just basically got some lightly salted popcorn and some melted chocolate and drizzled that over. I made this in a hurry so my chocolate wasn't fully melted and it was quite lumpy but when you guys make this make sure you melt your chocolate fully and it will turn out pretty good. I also suggest you guys to not use a really small bowl for this because using a bigger bowl like is easier to mix it all in and it's best to not fill it to the top as well because it's just easier to mix when there's more space. And there you have it, popcorn with chocolate. So for this tip that I personally use quite a lot when I study is basically just to separate your homework or assignment into different sections and set yourself a goal and give yourself different rewards. So for example, if you had three pages of essay to write, maybe write one page first and then give yourself a stretch and maybe say, I can have 20 to 30 minutes on the computer and watch some YouTube. Or you can listen to some music and there's me dancing awkwardly in my room to my music. And of course, you can have a little karaoke session in your room as well. Just make sure you don't sing so loud that your whole neighborhood can hear you. But other than that, it should be fine. For this tip, just make some flashcards out of A4 paper. And I just use white because I find color paper distracts me a little bit. But it's your own preference. And maybe you could get someone to test you with these cards or just read them out loud to yourself. So this next tip is basically just to use a planner or diary to write down your assignment, test and homework due dates. It gives you an idea on when to start studying for it and will definitely make you more organised. But the only downside is that you don't have the excuse of saying that you forgot the assignment was due on that day. So for this next tip, it is so simple but so effective. Basically just write down important information you need to remember on sticky notes and then just stick them onto your mirror so then you can see them every single day. And hopefully by the end of it, you'll remember everything that is written up there and ace your test. So for this last tip I have for you guys is to listen to some calming and soothing music and this app I have is called Relax Melodies which I recommend you guys using when you study.
So that is it for my videos this week and I really hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a like and comment down below on anything that I missed or you like to use when you're studying. And um, if you 